busy stretching in the morning, but what about your food? Marilyn Smith is going to set you straight. I'm going to set you straight. You're going to set oh, us yeah. straight. And, you know, we're going to talk about something specifically because a lot of people want to clean up their diet uh, in the new year. But this is a Buddha bowl, which I've heard so much about, never tried one. Tell me what it is, what it's all about. So a couple of years ago, people started um, eating kind of vegetarian Asian style where they would put everything into a bowl. Yeah. And so they're shallow bowls and they're instead of using a big plate. Um, so it's kind of an Asian Asian thing. And then they, yeah. I started seeing um, at different restaurants, people putting a whole bunch of different things in. And I thought, why don't we do a whole bunch of fusions? So I took all the elements out that I saw that should be healthy, heart healthy in a Buddha bowl, and I yes. created my own. Okay. So uh, basically, what you're going to do is on uh, on Sunday or one day a week, you should do some prep. But these are the kinds of things that go into a Buddha bowl. So yeah. they all have some kind of protein, whether it's chicken or steak or fish or beans. Um, they have bells and whistles, which would be like fatted cheese and nuts and stuff. Yes. They have vegetables uh, and I, sweet potatoes, beets, cabbage, whatever. You can do a lot of different kinds of vegetables. They have some kind of fat involved, maybe some kind of fruit. Fruit, okay. um, and then they also have a, a complex carb or, or some kind of grain. So and it's a so whole meal in one. It is exact. That's the whole thing. And okay. you know what? If you put it on a big plate, you go, oh. But when you stick it in a bowl, you know, we eat with our eyes. It looks yes. like you're eating a massive amount of food. Good. But actually, it's a really good way to portion control. Okay. And I think, you know, I've always said size matters. It does. It does. You know, especially in serving sizes. And so, it, you know, starting the new year off going, you know, what is a serving size? And maybe I should kind of downscale. Because I don't have any forbidden yes. foods. I just don't need a ton of you know crazy stuff so that's anyway. what I love about yeah. you though everything in moderation everything in moderation mm -hmm. um, even alcohol even <laughs> alcohol yeah yeah Just yeah Anyway, okay. So that's kind of the stuff you're going to have ha on hand. And, you know, basically, I go into my fridge and I, I post pictures on Instagram all the time and people go, oh, my God, you know, what is that? And it's, like, so easy for me because this is my habit. And Bruce was talking about, you know, habits, habits and stuff. And so this is something that you might want to try this year. So okay. you're, we're, the first thing I do every week is I do a whole bunch of whole grains. Yeah, you're and very so, good about that. This is your Sunday thing? My Sunday, Monday, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever day that I've got that I have, you know, I can actually do this. So maybe it will be Wednesday and we'll eat that way for five days, whatever. Right. So the first thing is, is I'm a big fan of barley, and barley is a fantastic complex carbohydrate that can actually reduce your cholesterol. It's amazing. It's Canadian too. Yes. And so you would rinse this. Now, size matters again in pots. So uh, my, my assistant, um, Katie, who's a professional home economist, she came over to help me prep all this, mm -hmm. and she was cooking it in a wrong size pot, and that's really important. So you, you want to put it in a fairly large pot. That's one cup of barley that you would have rinsed, yeah. and then it's two and a half cups of water. So if I put that same amount into this pot, Pot, mm -hmm. I would get a gluey mess. Oh. So you want to have the surface area, and I think a lot of people have got, you know, gee, I made it and it didn't work. It's maybe because you had the wrong size pot. That's interesting, because I would usually use that. And what happens is it gets all crammed in there, mm -hmm. and all the starch is called a beta glucan. I'm so scientific. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> La di da. Anyway, um, <laughs> and so it just goes, blah, 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 and so that's scientific too. That was very yeah, scientific. And, uh, and so it just gets to be a big, you know, jelloy mess. Oh, okay. So you, you don't you stir it once and then you boil it. You you know bring it to the the, the simmer and put the lid on and, and then leave it for about 40 minutes. Is it the same for quinoa? No, quinoa is a little different. So okay. you see the different kinds of strainers. So if I use quinoa strainer in this one, it would be like you know quinoa in the sink right so yeah so I want uh, <laughs> so you need one of these fine mesh ones so you would yeah. rinse it again I didn't do it for TV because it goes like a brick you know overnight yes anyway and so once again that is sort of a, a, a bigger size pot than what you would think um, she cooked in a little one once it went once again it went kind of gluey okay. so you know you'll have to do and then that's uh, two cups of water for one cup of quinoa yeah and I cook that and then I'll have enough cooked for the week for you know mixing yes. them up okay? okay unless my son comes over and then that's just it's dinner gone anyway okay good um, um, and then I do another thing that I do is I, I use a lot of onion. So I mm -hmm. chop up onion and I leave it in a little dish. And then I even have a little scoop in there. So I've always got onion ready for any of these Buddha bowls. That's Because they all need onion. Okay. And, and then the next thing that I do is I, and I'm, you know, I, I guess I sound anal, but it's just something, it's a habit. <laughs> You're a home yeah. economist. I'm a home economist. But this it's also weird. a habit. And it's there are habit. people who are not home economists who do this. And therefore they're wasting less and they're waste. eating better. So much less waste. And yeah. I hate throwing food away. It makes me cry. 
It's bad. It's bad for the environment. It's not yeah. just a waste of money. It's like all the natural resources that went in to grow that food. Right. They're down the toilet too. I agree. Okay, so this is how I do my parsley and my cilantro because I go through a ton. So I spin it. I've shown this before. Yeah. I spin it dry. I wrap it in a tea towel, and that's going to stay good for probably the rest of the week. And I use that as a green, especially in the winter. Oh, that's great. one of my heart healthy greens. Okay. That cilantro. And then the other thing that I do is I either cook up a whole ton of uh, sweet potatoes mm -hmm. or a whole ton of cauliflower or beets or whatever, um, or maybe do all three. And the way that you do for Buddha bowls is that you don't put any oil on them. You're going to uh, cook them dry okay. because you're going to be adding all the oil when you go to eat it. So you don't want to add too much fat, even mm -hmm. though it's heart healthy. So there's my cauliflower and my beets, or sorry, my sweet potatoes and my beets. And I'm going to roast those in the oven and, uh, and then for the week, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, mind you, I think somebody was in my house eating that. But anyway, so, because <laughs> that's really dreaded shrinkage. But anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> you roast anyway. all these, and that's going to make them taste so much more, so much better. Yeah, and they're the all bowl. done ahead of time. And that's, the, yeah. you know, one of the things that slows people down for prepping dinner. Is that, oh, my God, i got to cook up for 45 minutes. Yes. So you, you let the oven cook it, and then you're going to use it during the week. And, and the next, I'm going to show you how to put them all together. So we're going to assemble it all. Yes. Uh, including that amazing heart-healthy avocado, yes, which I yes. love.